What's up, what's up everybody? Today we're going to do a video on the horacles. Oracles, oracle, hold on. Oracles, not horacles. Not horacles, just oracle. Okay, no WH. Got it. Got it. I get confused sometimes. They, it's You can see why I'm confused between oracle and horacle. Anyway, just kidding guys, just kidding. Anyway. Oracles, great monsters. I want one so bad. I want any oracle. I will take anyone. Come to us. Any oracle. Remember, any oracle. Uh, don't give me five of the same one, though. <laughs> just just two. Two max. I don't need five of the same one. Maybe CR. I'll take five CRs. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, great monsters. This is one of the few monsters that... Uh, I know I'm saying monsters, beautiful little woman, uh, monsters, it's be beautiful women are monsters, let's be honest. Uh, this is one of the monsters that you can run for Oracle Arena Defense and have successes. That's how good these monsters are. Uh, so we we can uh, break these into two different groups though. We break, actually we, ki we kind of have like three groups because like one is one group and then there's others that are another group and one is like in the middle, okay anyway. We have the predicted future ones, the ones with predicted future as their second skill. And then we have the ones with a bomb, Fate of Destruction as their second skill. So we're going to talk about the Fate of Destruction ones first. Ciara! Oh my goodness! Ciara, one of my favorite, the, but one of my favorite most hated monsters, at least, like, most, most wanted monsters. I think Ciara's on everyone's most wanted list. Speed Leader, plus the bomb, great for running a bomb team. Uh, Ciara Tiana is huge. It's huge. Let's go over her skills. All of the all of them have the passing time, right? Uh, attacks three times recovers fifteen percent of the attack bar each time the attack lands a critical hit. Now I know a lot of people like to think that okay, we have that crit first skill. We want to make sure we have crit rate on slot four. No, I would put no one on none of these oracles. I would put crit rate on slot four four. Uh, but it does. It does. You're like, but why? But look at how good that first skill is. Just try to rely on crit rate and substats. Maybe. If you have like a great blade set, some of them maybe you want to put blade on some of them. Really not my optimal, because there's very specific builds for some of these, and there's really no room for blade on them. Uh, that's why I really wouldn't put blade on them. But if, you, if you're early game, if you want to put blade on them, and it helps you out, and you don't really need to have that specific late game build on them, then by all means, if you have some good blade runes, then go for it. Um, but... There's very very specific late game uh, builds for some of these, so I wouldn't put I wouldn't put crit rate on four for any of them, because uh, it's just it it there's so many better stats to get that's kind of like you put that on and you make them weaker just to get high crit rate, but you might just crit anyway, so it really doesn't it's re it's not like vertigo like vertigo crit rate lovely um, you need the crit, but here it's like they will they will survive without a crit right they'll survive without a crit. Uh, Fate of Destruction, the bombs, bombs based on attack power, uh, and then we have Promise Times attacks all enemies, detonates all bomb effects on them, instantly dealing the bomb damage to the targets. You can run a bomb team without Ciara, but it's not going to be as effective, they can still cleanse, they can still, Veljul can still come in, and because you know the bombs take two turns to go off, so that's why Ciara, Ciara is a staple in a bomb team, really. You can do it without her, depending on what team you're going up against. Um, but really, she's the reliable bomb team. Super good, super good, super good. What the? F what is? What does that even mean? Super good monster. So the standard, uh, the standard build for Ciara is violent focus or violent will uh, with speed attack attack. Now I would do. You could. You see some speed uh, attack HP though for tankiness uh, to make sure they don't get one shotted. I've seen some that are like speed HP HP trying to be tanky and trying to not do like not worrying about the bomb damage still do a little bit of damage but trying to worry about like they're they're there for crowd control for single target crowd control and I'm like that seems awful like I'm always excited when I go up against a Ciara and she's tanky and she puts the bomb on me, she detonates it on my Galleon or my Megan or something, and like they don't even, they get like half their health taken away. I'm like, that's amazing, yes! Because <laughs> I'm always like, I'm thinking, man, this monster's gonna die, I have to now worry about, um, I'm down one monster already, but no, she doesn't do any damage, 
I'll still kill her, you know, it's not, I'm not worried about not killing her. I don't, maybe for, for real time arena, I know people like do, like to do the super tanky builds, but I see for, for regular arena, for Guild Wars, she needs, she's got that speed lead, you're trying to get the first turn, you need to get that bomb off. Uh, you, you need the bomb to kill someone, right? You need to get, you need the bomb to land and you need the bomb to kill someone. That's the goal, right? Because otherwise, why are you moving first? You're gonna move first, you're gonna put the bomb off, and then no one's gonna die, and then, like, what's the point of that? Then it's just, like, someone's stunned, but they still have health, so you can just heal them up or whatever. Um, not really, not really a big fan of that, but I understand some people like to do it in real-time arena. Um, I have not ever used CR in real-time arena. I don't have a CR on any of, any of my accounts, so... All I can, all I can do is say, in arena defense, in Guild War defense, I'm always excited going against the tanky CRs because they don't do any damage to me and they're not a threat. Uh, so I think attack is very important. But the hybrid is also is good too. This way they do enough damage to kill things and they also are tanky enough to maybe survive. Uh, not bad, not bad. I like the hybrid too. So yes the hybrid, yes the speed attack attack. All of these girls need, I think I mentioned that before, all these girls need speed on slot 2. That is that is the, the end game build is everyone's got speed. Every one of these has speed on slot 2. Uh, you got the speed leader too, but they've got, they've got strips, they've got bombs, they've got speed on slot two is must have, must have. But I would go for, I would focus on for stats for her. I would go speed is the most important. Attack, uh, HP and accuracy are both important, and then I would go like defense and resistance, crit rate and crit damage. Um, like crit rate is crit rate is nice. Crit damage, you really don't. It's a, it's a bomber. She's gonna do. She does damage based on her attack, right? Uh, so we don't need we don't need to crit. I've seen some people run crit damage on Ciara too. Again, speed like the HP HP speed HP HP Ciara speed crit damage attack Ciara. I I just if I had a Ciara I would not ruin it like that. But I mean if that's what you guys like to do, then I mean you can experiment with it. I just think that most people are gonna get the most benefit from speed attack HP speed HP attack. Uh, or speed attack attack with HP subs because I mean she's got 10,000 H she's got almost 11,000 HP um, she could you she could be made with uh, like some some HP subs she could have a nice uh, a nice base HP Ni a nice HP pool HP pool and she's got the amazing uh, speed leader amazing I love CR one of my one of my more wanted monsters I think people assume that I want her more than I do. I want all of the oracles. I want all the oracles. I think I would prefer, like... I want all the oracles. All of them. All of them. Uh, there's no... All boobies, all good. All, all day. Uh, let's see. So where's she good? Farming, yes. Um, giants, yes. Dragons, because I mean she puts the bomb on. She detonates the bomb, ignores defense. Uh, Dragons V10, no. That would not be horrible for Dragon's B10. Necropolis. I've seen people run her Necropolis actually because her first skill is a multi hit skill. So, yes for Necropolis actually. Uh, yes for all of these for Necropolis actually. They can all be good for Necropolis. Even though they don't have any speed breaks, that's okay. Uh, multi hit first skill. So, violent. if you have violent on them, uh, then you can do that. Uh, elemental dungeons. Yeah, you could do them for elemental dungeons. Uh, secret dungeons. It's the AoE, at least she's got an AoE third skill, right? So, there's monsters I would take in first. I would rather have Lucian in there, but she'll do. She'll do, because she's got the AoE at least. Uh, three Team Rift of World raids. Actually, yes, she can be used in raids, uh, since she's got that bomb and then she can detonate it immediately. Uh, you don't really want to bring bombers into, into the raids, but I have seen people run CR effectively, because they can bomb, ignore his defense, and then they can detonate it right away. Uh, so actually, she's not that bad for uh, for raids, but bombers in general, I wouldn't rec really recommend those. Uh, elemental rift beasts. I have not tried her in elemental rift beasts. I really would not. I don't think I would run C. Really, you can't run CR in elemental rift beasts because they're not going to take bombs. So what's the point? Uh, Trial of Ascension. If you're running a bomb team, then yes. If you're running a bomb team for Trial of Ascension, then absolutely should be phenomenal as long as you have bombers. 
Uh, arena, fantastic arena monster. Oh my god, A plus S rank for arena. Guild Wars, S rank for Guild Wars. Live arena, S rank for live arena. Phenomenal, great monster. Uh, what kind of sets can we put on her? Fatal, yes, Swift. Yeah, I would put Fatal on her before I would put Swift on her, but I mean, she does... Good speed is important. You just want her to move after the rest of your bombers if you're running a bomb team. Uh, but if you're early game, you have, like, really good Swift runes, then go for it. Fatal, go for it. The Spare, she's got the AoE. If you're early game, you have the Spare. I wouldn't put it... I mean, I wouldn't put her on a late game. If you're having... If you're running a bomb team, they're gonna be stunned anyway after the bombs go off. When she does her, uh... Promise time. So you really don't need to run her with Despair. Maybe an early game like, I have Ciara and I have good Despair runes, but I don't have much else, then, then do it if you're early game, but that's about it. Violet, she's ama- she's awesome on Vi- she's a bitch on Violet, I mean, that is the- that is the number one to do. Rage, I would not say Rage. Vampire, no Vampire. It's bombs, she's not gonna leech health from that, right? Uh, and Rage, again, it's bombs, right? So, Violet number one, uh, Fatal or Swift would be- would also be acceptable. But I think Violent is, she gets the most benefit out of that. Energy Blade, Focus. Energy Blade you get a little bit of benefit from, but I would say Focus mostly. Uh, Guard, Endure, Shield. Mm. Uh, Will, definitely. Revenge, yes, would be great on Revenge. Nemesis, uh, no, not for her. For the other ones, yes. Destroy, no. Um, so, Revenge, Will, and Focus are the ones that I would go for on her. And. Ultimately, you want to earn Violent. If you can't get vi Violent, uh, Fatal and Swift work good as well. Uh, then we have Gianna! Ooh, oh my god, it's 11 minutes. I'm trying to do this fast. I think I'm doing it fast, but I'm not. In reality, it's like 45 minutes later. Uh, Gianna, okay. She's got the same first two skills, and she's got this Critical Error third skill. Attacks all enemies, removing the beneficial effects and stunning the enemies whose beneficial effect has been removed for one turn. And she's got the Attack Power Leader skill. I usually don't see Gianna's uh, Leader skill being used. I usually see her being used in the place of, like, a Juna or... Uh, Juna? <laughs> Juno or a Praha. Uh, since she's got this, this is going to strip the enemy's beneficial effect and stun. So, we see that it's already got a stun built in, so ne uh, so Despair is not going to be as valuable there, because this already, st it stuns when it blows up, right? So we don't, need, we don't need Despair as much. We already got a stun here, we already got a stun here. So Despair, not really crazy about them. But, uh, Speed, I usually see her rune with Speed, HP, Accurate, uh, hold on. What did I just say? Speed, HP, Attack, Speed, Attack, HP, Speed, HP, HP. Uh, those are the those are the general builds that I see Gianna rune with. I usually see her rune violent. Remember, these girls gain another turn uh, after using this skill, so potentially insane amount of turns. I mean, it's kind of violent runes are kind of broken on these on these oracles, uh, especially the bomb ones because you get another turn. So like you get another turn is already built in, and then the violent, and then you can keep resetting the proc rates. It's it's kind of broken. It's broken in the same way that Ryan is broken. Uh, on violent runes, anything that gets another turn as part of the as part of the monster skills already, like you want to put violent on that because then it's insane, right? It's just a potential for complete insanity. Uh, so let's see. Uh, so yeah, on her on arena defense, she's very strong in arena defense with a speed uh, speed leader and a Ryan or a Bernard or Kabila or Frigate or any of those attack gauge boosters. Um, and then a Gianna in there as well, so that we can, I mean, they come in, they bring shield and will runes, she strips them all off, and she stuns them. There's, what are they gonna do to that? And then, she's on violet runes, so yeah. Uh, but speed is very important on her. Like I said, speed attack, HP, speed, HP attack. Um, let's see. So farming, she's good for farming. Um, she's not the best farmer, but she's not the worst farmer either. Uh, giants, she's, she's not bad for giants. Um, she's not gonna, I, if you have her built for a tankier build though, she's really not gonna do too much in Giants. Uh, Dragons, not, she doesn't blow it up right away, I mean, I know she's element neutral, so Dragons B10, yes, but she doesn't blow it up right away, I think, but she does strip with the third skill, so I think you could, in the right team, you could make her work in a Dragons team, but I don't know if she would be my first. There's just so many better monsters to use. There's so many better, faster monsters to use that if if you have her and you don't have many other options, she can be used. But she's not, she's not my first choice. 
Uh, Necropolis, yes, first skill, multi-hit attack. Elemental Dungeons, uh, yes as well. Uh, secret dungeons. The reason I said no on dragons, though, is she doesn't she doesn't detonate her bomb right away. So the tower will put up in dragons B10. The tower will put up immunity and strip the bomb off anyway. Um, but I think depending on the rest of your team, you can still do it. Uh, secret dungeons. Not my first choice for secret dungeons. Three team rift of world raids. No, because she doesn't detonate. Her, she she can't detonate her bomb immediately. That's why. Uh, Elemental Rift Beasts, no. Trial of Ascension, uh, for a certain level, she'd be great for Trial of Ascension. For things where, like, you, you come up against a Velajul or a Chloe level, she just... Just because she strips, right? Uh, so, I mean, there's better monsters for TOA, but in some levels, she's great. Uh, but she's not Ciara, so she doesn't... If you bring her in with a bomb team, you can't detonate the, all the bombs immediately. Like you can with CR. So CR is better for, uh, for TOA, though. Uh, Arena, fantastic for Arena. Guild Wars, fantastic for Guild Wars. Uh, live Arena, fantastic, amazing for Live Arena. PvP, she is queen. She is like S tier on all of those things. Arena, Guild Wars, Live Arena, she's S tier. Uh, let's see, for, for Ruin, we have Fatal. I would ruin her less with Fatal. I would ruin her with Swift more than Fatal, but I think she needs Violent. I think Violent is clearly... She's a, she's a, she needs Violent. If you don't have Violent, Swift is okay, but I think those are the rune sets that I would, like, clearly head and shoulders above the rest. Why are you talking about shampoo? Head and shoulders above the rest for, for rune builds. I wouldn't even worry. I mean, you could put, you put Fatal on her, but... Uh, fatal, Despair, eh. But Violent... Swift, uh, those, those are the ones you want. Don't even really think about the other ones too much. Um, energy, not bad. Blade, not bad for, for, for skill. Focus, definitely need focus. She's got a lot of, she's got a, she's got bombs and she's got strips and puts them to sleep. She needs, she needs accuracy. Guard, endure, I really, really wouldn't worry about those too much. Shield, it's not, will is great on her. Will is great, revenge is great. Um, you could do a Nemesis build on her, Speed HP HP Nemesis. Um, you could you could run a Nemesis trap on her, but yeah, you could you could do that. You could do that. So f I think Focus, Will, Revenge, and this one Nemesis. This one, not not Ciara, but Gianna. You can do Nemesis on actually. Okay, so now on to the predicted future. Gotta drink my chocolate milk. It's still chocolate milk. I know it's in a Starbucks cup, but it's chocolate milk. Um, the predicted future ones. All right, Juno does not get as much love as she deserves. Juno is amazing on defense. Juno is amazing on defense. All right, she's not. People look at monsters. They're excited for Zyros because he's an offense monster. They're excited for Chimeras because they're offense monsters. They like the monsters that do the big, super crazy damage, right? But they don't see. That Juno is a great monster, but her best work is done when you're not looking. And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be salty, but there's so many little mofos that will comment in the user ratings, and they have an unawakened five-star Juno with crap runes, and they're like, "Oh, this monster isn't good." Like, yeah. You didn't awaken her, or skill her up, or put good runes on her, and you don't know what to do with her. You didn't even 6-star her, and you're saying she's not good. How about you use her, you build her first, and then you say whether you think the monster is good or not after you use her. You can't just pull her and say something's not good without actually using- Why do people do that? Why do people do that? Oh my god. <sighs> Why? Why? Guys, the Super Mario game that's coming out in 20, 2025, that's gonna be complete shit. It's, I mean, the graphics are horrible. It's, I know I've never played it, I know it's not even out yet, but the graphics, like what, like, that's no! Use the monster first! But anyway, her best, her best work is in arena defense anyway. And in Guild War defense. Um, okay, so we got her first skill, we already know. We got her second skill, uh, she strips all the beneficial effects and she does continuous damage equal to the number of beneficial effects removed for two turns this thing i mean this is this is high level arena defense material really 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 
and loss of cause and effect removes the harmful effects if you start the turn with two or more harmful effects. Recovers your HP by 15% and the HP of all your allies by 10% for each removed harmful effect. Okay, so what does this mean? This means you gotta really watch who you bring in. Like, yeah, of course, if you have a Juno versus Arena, the Arena's gonna win. I mean, I got it. Arena's got no debuffs. But, potentially, a stalemate if you have something that does two debuffs, like Orion versus Juno, Orion's going down. There's no two ways around it. I know Orion's got- Orion's amazing. Orion can solo one-on-one -on -one many, many units. But, Orion versus Juno, she just keeps stripping them off, healing, and Orion's got no chance. No chance. So if you bring in Orion on offense, and... I mean, you're basically limited to Orion's first skill. That's that's how it is. You're you're limited to Orion's first skill. Can't use anything else. Uh, maybe that was a bad maybe that was a bad example. Uh, like Jolton, I've brought Jolton into a Juno, and I'm like, I have to attack, right? Jolton has to attack, but he's gonna defense break and he's gonna HP block, and she's gonna strip it off every turn and heal. So I've actually went in three on one. Juno can survive three on one, and I had to draw the fight because I brought in stupidly a Jolton against the Juno and. There was absolutely no way to kill her. So, great arena defense monster. Um, the builds on Juno usually despair Nemesis for arena defense. And she's not great everywhere. I'll be honest, she's not great everywhere. But what she is great for, she's great for. You need high speed on her, uh, high speed on her too. And since she has that strip, uh, she'll strip all your enemies' uh, debuffs. She has a strip and a cleanse. How beautiful is that? Strip and a cleanse in one monster. Uh, well, cleanse on herself anyway, and a, and a heal. Passive heal. Um, so, even if you try to Zyros her, reset reset her cooldown, okay, well, it's a passive. So, what is Zyros gonna do? A second skill? Then she's just gonna keep cleansing, she's gonna heal. Passive, you're not gonna be able to, you can't reset anything. Uh, so, farming, I mean, she could be, I, I would pick other farmers. Uh, giants, no. Dragons, um, I haven't used her in dragons. I've seen some people that use her in dragons. There's better dragons monsters, but you can use her in dragons v10, uh, team. Uh, cause remember, she passively takes those dots off and heals your team. Uh, Necropolis, yes, first skill multi-hits. Elemental dungeons. I really haven't tried- I have to try her in Elemental Dungeons. I haven't tried her in too many Elemental Dungeons. So I don't want to say too much yes or no. Uh, Secret Dungeon. She's got the AoE, but really would not be my first- Really, I don't like her in Secret Dungeons. Rift of World Raids. I haven't seen- I don't know anyone that uses Juno in Rift of World Raids. Elemental Rift Beasts. Um, no. Trial of Ascension. She's got the AoE strip. She's not the worst in Trial of Ascension, but she's not like my number one pick. Like if I had her, I probably would only use her on a certain few levels. Um, what else? Because I just want to be proactive in Trial of Ascension rather than reactive. Like I don't want them to start debuffing me because then I feel like I already have a problem there. So, uh, Arena, Arena defense, yes. Guild Wars defense, yes. Live Arena, yes, great for all of those. I think she's in Live Arena, I think she's one of the ones you pick last after you see what they, the enemy is picking, and then you're like, bam, Juno. Oh, and then they're like, shit, I didn't prepare myself for Juno. Because you have to kind of think differently when Juno's in the mix, because you can't put too many debuffs on. So, uh, yeah, definitely for Arena Defense, Guild Wars Defense, and Live Arena. She's not as useful as some of the other ones, yes, but what she is useful for, she's really good at. Uh, she's a defensive monster. Uh, so what do we see for her for runes? I think there's, like, there's just a clear build for me as far as this. Uh, you could do, like, a double nemesis thing, uh, but I see as despair nemesis, beautiful, despair revenge, beautiful, will she doesn't need, endure she doesn't need, um, energy's fine, blade is okay, focus is good, Focus is good on her. A lot of these, really all of these, uh, all, focus is good on all these oracles. Focus. <laughs> but, revenge, nemesis, focus on her, blade maybe. 
Uh, and I would definitely go violent. You could, you, I mean, you could go... I'm mean, sorry, not violent. Despair. I'm sorry. I i didn't mean to say violence. I meant to say despair. I always think one thing and I say another thing. Because uh, I read the word violent and I meant to say despair, but I read the word violent. And I was thinking about violent next. Uh, but despair, yes, despair avenge, despair bleed, despair focus, despair nemesis, all good. I wouldn't go Will, I wouldn't worry too much about Will. Um, cause she has the benefit of when she gets debuffed, then, and sometimes I see people that are like, they run immunity with her, I'm like, that's good! Yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do better against Juno now, I can just hit her with any skill. Any old skill, doesn't matter if it debuffs or not, cause it's not gonna do anything. So it'll take a longer, take a little bit longer to kill her, but there's no, there's no stalemate. Um, but yeah, she is, I would definitely go despair on her. Definitely despair. And high speed. High, 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 high speed. Try to focus on speed uh, and HP next. Speed, HP, accuracy, defense. That's that's what I would go for on Juno. Those are those are the main stats. Main stats. And her best work is going to be, you're not even going to be able to see it. Her best work is going to be in defense for you. And we have Praha. Okay, so Praha's got a few different builds, actually. Uh, Praha, she's got the first, same two skills. Uh, and she's got Daydream, reco recovers your... The, Recovers the HP of all allies by 50% by putting yourself to sleep for one turn. Alright. Great heal. Resistance leader. Global. 41%. Amazing monster. Uh, 11,000 base HP. Very nice. Support unit. Alright. This, I mean, there's so much. Praha is my favorite, or I think my favorite oracle. The Dark might kind of want to. But I think Praha is one of the monsters I've wanted her for so long. So long. She's a cleanser. She's got a big heal. She's got a resistance leader. It's like, what can't you do, girl? Plus, she's blue. Oh, that just makes it even better. Uh, why does that matter? Uh, so farming, not the best for farming. Giants. She's great because she can uh, remove beneficial effects from the giant. She can also give herself extra turns. She can multi-hit on the first skill, which means that the giant is more likely to hit her. Because uh, the giant takes a certain amount of hits and then counterattacks, so he's more likely to hit her. And she, if she's runed tanky, she can survive a giant hit, no problem. Uh, Necropolis. Uh, oh, dragons. Yes, she. Again, she can cleanse the the dragon. She can also heal up. She can give herself other turns. Um, what else? Necropolis. I mean, if you're speed running dragons, she might not be your first choice. But also, she's got that resistance leader too. You can use her leader skill and not get as many dots on. So, you can definitely use her in dragons. Uh, let's see. But she's, I mean, of course, she's not like one of the, she's not going to be nuking dragons down for like 45 second runs with Praha. Watch, someone's going to do it now. Watch, someone's going to do it. Um, but you can put her, you can definitely put her in dragons team. Necropolis team, yes, multi-hit for a skill. Elemental dungeons, yes, she's great for, she's really flexible. She's really versatile. Uh, Secret Dungeons. Um, not really. She doesn't. She's Secret Dungeons. I want an AOE damage dealers. That's what I want. AOE damage dealers for Secret Dungeons. Three Team Rift of World Raids. Yes, absolutely. She's got huge heal. Huge heal here. Gives herself extra turns. I would go. I mean, Violent. She gets extra. She just gets more. More access to her daydream, with Violent. But I've never tried. I've never really. I've really never tried Violent versus other things like Double Nemesis on Praha uh, for Rift of Worlds. I mean, I know Praha a lot of times is on Despair, so you're not going to get anything out of the anything extra out of the Despair. But I mean, if she's if that's what you got. But this leader skill is amazing for Rift of World raids. Amazing for it. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, elemental Rift. So yes, definitely. I see Praha all the time in. Uh, if you, if people have her, I see her all the time in Rift of Worlds. Uh, for that resistance leader, for the heal. I mean, really, just for the resistance leader and the heal. But uh, elemental Rift Beasts. Really, no. Maybe the Wind one. I haven't tried her out in the Wind one. But aside from that, really not crazy about her for the elemental Rift Beasts. Trial Ascension. Yes, yeah, she because she, she does have a cleanse. I mean, not, not a cleanse. She does have a strip, right? She'll put the dots on too. So if you're going up against, like, I know there's a triple Chloe, two Katarina team. You do this uh, predicted future, and then 
no immunity, no invincibility, and they have dots on instead, which is awesome. So yes, definitely good for uh, for TOA. Arena, phenomenal for Arena, phenomenal for Guild Wars, because she she's the whole package. She's got the resistance leader, she's got the strip, and she's got a big heal as well. Uh, really great for like she's very valuable for for Guild Wars, and Arena and Live Arena. She's amazing. Amazing for all of those. She's S tier. Again, S tier for all of those. Uh, so let's see. Four sets fatal. No. Swift. Eh, it's not bad. Despair. Definitely. Definitely despair is the number one you want. Uh, if you can't get her on despair. Uh, violence is good. Rage. No. Vampire. No. She doesn't need a vampire. What do you need vampire for? She's got a heal and she doesn't do. She's not a damage dealer. No vampire. Absolutely not. Um, so despair is great. Two sets. Now there are specific builds people like to do double nemesis uh, will on Praha. That's a common rune build for high level arena uh, because the first Lucian attacks uh, and then she nemesis triggers and then she's gonna go and she's gonna heal up. Uh, I, th I haven't seen any triple nemesis that I know of. I haven't really fought in any triple nemesis Praha so I'm really not too familiar with triple nemesis on her. But I know the double nemesis is annoying, and I will think twice about going into a Praha when I think that it's going to be double nemesis on her. Uh, and then energy is not bad on her. Blade is not bad on her for her first skill. Focus is great on her for a second skill. Uh, want to make sure you get those uh, the strip and the dots. Guard, eh, endure. Eh, she doesn't need endure. She's got the resistance leader. If you really need resistance that much, she's got the resistance leader. So endure, I really don't see a point in that on her shield. Not bad. I could see a sh I could see a two set of shield being thrown on Proha in certain situations. Same thing with Juno. Actually, I could see two set of shield being uh, thrown on Juno. Uh, Will, yes, I see Will on Proha. Uh, revenge, definitely. Nemesis, definitely. So Will, Revenge, Nemesis, Focus uh, are good. Two sets on her. Blade is not bad. I mean, their blade and shield are not bad either, but. That's what we got for you, Praha. And the last one, very similar to Praha, is Lima. But the whole the whole point of the double nemesis is the first Lucian. You know, I know. I, we're just gonna ta 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 ta. We're just gonna talk about the same thing everyone has talked about a million times before. That they interrupt the second Lucian by triggering the double nemesis and pushing her attack age up to max, uh, and overflowing and then healing, and then that's why you can't double Lucian it so easily. Um, but that's that's why the two set and not even having a four set on them is is what some people like to do. But I think ultimately to do the ultimate Praha build would be despair, nemesis, and having insane uh, speed HP HP with accuracy, defense, speed subs. Uh, well, speed most importantly, and then accuracy, HP, defense, subs, uh, and just massive, massive, massive speed. Speech HP on despair nemesis would be king. That would be the ultimate, the ultimate one. And again, wouldn't even worry about getting crit rate on slot four. I don't think that's a very good build because uh, it just makes her so weak. It just makes her so weak. She's not going to be as effective. Uh, it's just she just benefits her first skill. Uh, and then we have Lima, Lima or Lima. I don't know. I feel like it should be Lima, even though I say Lima. HP. Oh, look at this. She's got the highest HP. I never noticed that before now, but she's got the highest base HP out of the whole group. All right. She's actually very similar to Praha in her uses. She's very similar to all of them in, in their uses, but the same the same basics apply to her as apply to uh, Praha. She's got the same first and second skills. Start and end removes all harmful effects on all allies and makes them invincible for one turn and recovers their HP by 15% each for three turns. You can still do this with Lucian. Uh, as a Lucian trap, you can do double nemesis, or you do really, really, really fast single nemesis as well. Uh, increases accuracy of ally monsters by 41%. I don't know about that that leader skill. I think Praha is still better. That, that resistance leader skill is still more valuable. The accuracy is nice for the predicted future, but you don't always need a team with high accuracy. You don't need everyone in your team with high accuracy, right? So I think maybe you run like speed leader or you run like a different kind, HP leader or something with her, more so than running her as the accuracy leader. 
It's not bad. It's not bad. But I just don't know if this is the most amazing thing, right? I th I'm, I'm more excited about the speed leader. I'm more excited about this resistance leader than than this uh, this accuracy leader. Because there's there's certain things you need accuracy for, right? Like you need accuracy for Galleon, but you don't need accuracy for every every monster, right? Uh, but every monster can benefit from speed and HP. So we have the third skill. Oh, we already said the th what the third skill is. All right. So farming. I get these oracles. Really, Ciara is the one that I would use for farming. The rest of them, not really so much. Uh, Giant, she's great for invincibility and regen. Invincibility. And regen. Regen is like having heals available for your team for three turns. I think regen is kind of. Uh, I know no one else calls. I might the only one that calls it regen. I think maybe I'm the only one that calls it. Cause Final Fantasy, I'm the only one that calls it regen. But that's fine. I can't. I don't. I don't care. I'll think outside the box. Think outside the. But no, it's. I'll just say things wrong. That's really what it is. Uh, giants, yes. But yeah, that's like that's having a heal for every turn. Heal every turn. It's like okay, well I'll heal them now, and then next turn you get a heal. It's like it's like a it's like an extra like Amon, like a light bear man hanging out there. Like yeah, I just gotta every time someone moves, I'll I'll Amon. Um, yeah, dragons. Uh, good for dragons. She'll remove all the harmful effects. Great for dragons actually. Um, giants. Great for uh, giants too. Invincibility plus the regen, like I said. Uh, Necropolis, yes, because of her first skill, multi-hit. Beautiful on there. Um, and again, for if we're talking about these, because let me mention for Praha that Violent Revenge would be the, the build, I think, for Praha for Necropolis. So if you're going to go for, like, if you're going to build some of these for, ne for Necropolis, I would go Violent. Violent Revenge. I mean, just because that's the Necropolis build. Um, but that's kind of like a more more PvP. But if you're gonna, I, P, sorry, PVE. Wow, PVE. I'm sorry, that's more of a PVE thing, and then the despair is more PVP. Anyway, uh, but that's why violent and revenge for Necropolis, Elemental Dungeons. Yes, great for Elemental Dungeons, Secret Dungeons, Secret Dungeons. No, I like AoE nukers for those. Three two with the world raids. Uh, yeah, actually, leader skill, global leader skill, that could help. I could see that being beneficial. And then she's got the, the regen here. But you gotta be careful because if he doesn't have a heal block on them, you gotta make sure they're heal blocked. Which I guess the accuracy leader helps for. Um, because otherwise, if we give them invinci- if we give our team invincibility and recover their HP, then the dragon's just gonna suck that up and heal. Right? So we wanna- we wanna be a little bit careful what teams we're bringing in with Lima. Uh, Elemental Rift Beasts, not really so much. Not really so much. Maybe the maybe the Wind one. Uh, Trial of Ascension, uh, certain levels, I think. Like I said, certain levels for the predicted future. You know, anything that buffs, like if you got a Veligal level, um, or something like that. Um, anything that's gonna, any team that's gonna buff immunity then that's going to be helpful for, and you already got the dots in there too. Beautiful. Also, oh my god, also, you could have some fun times with this invincibility, AoE invincibility, and regen here. Certain teams that, uh, like you, there's, there's certain teams like the ragdoll teams, just like, oh my god, just do this, give ourselves invincibility, and then let them hit us. Um... And she's gonna she's gonna crit like crazy though on that. I don't know. I think that might be. Mm, no, I think I still probably wouldn't even bring her in. I'm thinking about re realistically though. I still probably wouldn't bring her in there. I'd probably do other stuff first. Uh, let's see. Tri so trial of ascension, like certain teams. Uh, arena great for arena defense. Uh, guild war is great for a guild war defense. Cause you got the strip, and you have this heal as well, and, and invincibility, right? Again, great S tier for Arena Guild Wars Live Arena. Beautiful monster for those. This is this is where they shine, really. This is what, but they're really, they're, they're flexible. Like, Praha and Lima are so flexible they can be used anywhere. Almost anywhere. Love them. Love them. 
Uh, Force that's fatal? No. Swift? Not really. I mean, Swift for Swift, but you don't need her to be that fast though. That's the thing. You don't. She's not Chloe. She's not. When she swifts, she would just use this predicted future, right? So I think just despair would be the best for her, because you don't want her to go before the the enemy has any buffs on, right? So despair definitely uh, is what I would. Again, very much like Praha. Almost the exact same way that I would build Praha is the way I would build Lima. Uh, despair is great on her. Violent is great on her. Not rage. Not vampire. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, but despair, despair or violent. Violent more for PVE, and then despair more for PVP. Two sets, again, we're gonna say Blade is not horrible, Focus is great on her, Will is great on her, Revenge is great on her, Nemesis is great on her. Again, Nemesis Trap. First Lucian comes, she does this, she makes the entire team invincible. Second Lucian comes, does nothing to them. And then they just regen every turn. So, this is another, another double Lucian Trap. And I see her, I see a lot of Prahas and a lot of Limas. If people have Beast Monks, using those with those. Because Beast Monks can't be easily nuked. They like to have, you know, they'll go turn two. They'll have the Nemesis set up on the Oracles, on, on Praha or Juno or uh, Lima if they have. I know someone that has a, I think it might have been, uh, is it Vindicated? I think it might be vi uh, uh, Vindicated that's got a Lima double beast monk. But I see I see often if they have Praha's Praha double beast monk, then they'll do the Praha leader skill double beast monk and something else. Some, something else. Uh, this way they get the turn two, but they get the, the nemesis, they get their attack gauge pushed up, and then and then also anti Zyros with the first skill of this, right? Water monster plus resistance leader is probably not gonna Zyros is gonna have a hard time with that. So, um, and it's going to be hard to one-shot them. So I see some of those those teams working very effectively. Uh, is the even the Juno, even the Juno double beast monks too? Because you go, you get the ne you get the nemesis on. You you strip everything on. You strip all those attack buffs. Um, Praha, she'll either strip or she'll come in and she'll she'll do the AOE heal. It's really nice, really nice. And if and if you're and if you're trying to go for like a will and shield team, then she'll come in and she'll do this predicted future. She'll stun everyone and she'll give them dots. And then the two beast monks will come in. Ritesh is going to defense break, and then Kumar is going to kill everyone on top of the defense break. That's a good guild war uh, guild war defense too. Is the Praha double beast monk kind of thing. So you can't get turn one, but you really got to do a ton of damage fast to kill turn one. Uh, these like just so tanky monsters. And then you, if, you, if you can't, then they're just going to strip, defense break, nuke you on top of that. And heal block you too. So, And you got the dots, you got the heal blocks, you got the defense breaks, you're screwed at that point. So anyway, that is it for 42 minutes. It could have been an hour. 42 minutes. Progress. Progress. That's it for these girls. These horacles. I really want one. These are such amazing monsters. Uh... More How to Rune videos coming up soon. Uh, I will leave timestamps to which ones are where. Actually, I'll leave. I th I've been doing ad breaks at the different timestamps. This way you could see, like, visually which one's where. And you'd be like, that's what I skipped to after the ad, right? Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will see you, as always, in the next video.